Come on. Oh. You get another one and like put it up on the other side. He did that. The, so the I viewers can... didn't like it. Did you see the that? viewers didn't like it? Yeah. So the viewers did not I... like it. Who didn't like it? <laughs> People were like, "This was a great set." But please never do that again. <laughs> Tennis Tunes, we have something very special today. We have a feature league match, the first of its kind, because Michael is such a good sport. Uh, but no, this is this is a rivalry for the ages. The people wanted to see this match. And when I say people, I mean Andrew. Very special guest today. We have Andrew ready to commentate during the match. Very exciting. And, you know, this rivalry has, has really heated up over the past year. I guess it's really only been like a year and a half rivalry. <laughs> but for this league that we do there's only been two winners over the past five seasons it's either been me or mike and you know this season i think we can say we'll both be happy if at least one or the other takes it as long as it's not andrew Hello, darkness, my ladies and gentlemen <laughs> boys and girls tennis tune fans the last couple uh Matches you've had with Mike, Mr. Overhead, Masano, you've gotten the better of him. But in the ultimate tennis world, this man reigns supreme. How are you, going into, the, how are you going into this match? What are you feeling? It's true. Tell us a little bit what's, what's going on. You know, I, I'm going in confident. I think that you have to do that. I need to be confident in my game. You've seen me play when I'm not confident. It's not pretty. So I'm just going to tell myself that I'm going to do well. He is, I think he's up 3-1 in ultimate tennis. But the last time we played, I, I got the better of him. However, it was it was a while ago. Um, you know, I think Mike is just such a creative player, and he, he puts so much purpose behind his shots. It's just never easy. It's never easy. He just took down Christian, who's a hell of a player, who I've been having trouble with lately. So I, I, I think it's going to be a tight match. I hope it's a good one. That's You're one of the smartest guys on the tour, maybe. Oh, oh wow. What's, what's, what's part of the strategy going into, the, into tonight's matchup here against Mikey Boy? That is going to have to be a secret. <laughs> well, we got Mike, so, I mean, you got to give you'll, us something. You'll hear. Here. All right, all right. I will say that I'm going to try to, to, to do a lot with my backhand. I think it's to that point. I've been working on it a lot. We'll see if I can rely on it as much as I would like to tonight. Mike, you're starting off the season pretty strong. You've had a couple tough opponents, but you seem to be taking care of business lately. Other than me, of course. But uh, <laughs> how are you feeling going into tonight? What do you, what, what's kind of your strategy going into this match? Feeling confident. Um, Brett's a grinder. So I know it, it could be a battle. It could go long. We've had a couple three-set battles in the past. So uh, I'm going to make him work. He's definitely going to have opportunities to test out that backhand tonight. <laughs> That'll be uh, definitely a focal point of the strategy to get it to that side because his forehand's so dangerous. Um, Ladies, gentlemen, fans, you heard it here first. Get your popcorn, get your beer. It's going to be one hell of a match. I value this rivalry and this friendship very much. I think it makes us both be better players on the court. And, you know, when you think about it, who would Federer be without Nadal? <laughs> who would Goku be without Vegeta? <laughs> who would Naruto be without Sasuke? I mean, the list goes on and on. Who would Mike be without Brett? Oh, second. That's exactly what Brett wants from him is a short ball. Wow. Oh no. Oh, That's what he wants, right? Good shot. Thanks. What a serve. Oh, come on. Very close. Your yeah. call. I think it was good. Okay. I would have called that shit out right away. Oh, you're lo oh, Brett. Wow. Good shot. Shot. Cooking up some chili. Oh, wow. 
Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Respect. I couldn't see it at all. Was it good? Oh, it was good, yeah. Great shot. Oh, good shot. Sorry. Nope. Nope. Come on. Nice. Ah, oh, come on. Get up. Shot. Thanks. Oh, great shot. He's not really crushing a lot of balls. I, I feel like I have the upper hand. I'm just making a lot of errors. Um, let's just keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe go for less overheads. Oh. Too good. Three all. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Nice shot. Come on. Just wide. Yep. Ah. Alright, finally got a break there. I gotta keep beating up on his second serve. It's hurting his confidence on his first, so um He's being a little over, overly aggressive, so I'm just, you know, trying to counter punch and wait for good opportunities, but keep some momentum going here. People, this is huge. Now that he's up, he's like, let me go talk to the Michael camera. Song. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was a noteworthy changeover. I mean. <laughs> No, Dang. you just got too close too fast. Uh. 
Good shot. Thanks. Oh, that's just... Oh, I can't do that. Nice shot. Like, let's go! We finally, we finally get a little, a little fire. <laughs> the fury of a thousand men in his voice. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna get the better of him on my service game, but he, uh, he turned it up. He just, it's, it's like he's a pusher at the beginning of the match, and he just transforms into this beast. Oh man, God, you're hitting like right to him. Come on. Oh, that's terrible. Great shot. Do you either of you want it or no? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, good shot. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, we all know it's not anywhere close to... <laughs>